Your doctor has recommended a laparoscopic gastric sleeve to help you lose weight. This video will help you understand this surgical treatment option. We will start by reviewing information about your body and about your medical condition. When we swallow, the esophagus carries food down to the stomach to be digested. Digestion breaks the food into smaller bits that can be used by the body. These small bits of digested food then pass to the small intestine where water, fat, protein, and other nutrients are taken up by the body. Weight loss procedures, also called bariatric surgery, make the stomach smaller so that a person cannot eat as much food as they used to. This type of surgery is intended for someone who is significantly above their ideal body weight, has health problems because of the weight, and other treatment options including diet and exercise have failed to help. With bariatric surgery, up to 80% of people lose weight and keep it off. Not all of the extra weight is lost. Patients tend to lose about half. For example, someone may lose 50 pounds if they are 100 pounds overweight. Some patients are able to lose more and some lose less. The weight loss after surgery usually helps with diabetes, sleep apnea, joint pain, and high blood pressure. Before this procedure, you must work with a care team for up to six months to make lifestyle changes. This can include a nutritionist, an exercise trainer, and a counselor for support and depression management. You may also need a sleep study if you have never had one to check your breathing while you sleep. Surgery does not guarantee permanent weight loss. Keeping the weight off depends on you having a healthier lifestyle forever. It will help your body reset to a new weight, but your new good habits keep the weight off. Recommending surgery as an option is commonly based on a person's BMI, or Body Mass Index, which is related to a person's height and weight. Surgery may be an option for adults that are 100 pounds overweight or have a BMI of 40. Surgery may also be advised for a BMI of 35 if there are weight-related health problems such as sleep apnea, type 2 diabetes, or heart disease. The laparoscopic gastric sleeve is a procedure that makes the stomach smaller by cutting away part of it. It is shaped like a banana afterwards and can fit less than a half cup of food or 100 cc's. Since most of the stomach is taken out, it is a permanent procedure. Benefits of the sleeve procedure are a decreased appetite from less of the hunger hormone ghrelin which is made by the section of the stomach that is removed, a smaller stomach so you cannot eat as much, and no change to your intestines so vitamins and food can be absorbed normally. There are several different types of bariatric surgery. Some are more and some are less invasive, including gastric bypass, laparoscopic gastric sleeve, gastric banding, and endoscopic gastric sleeve. It is very important that you understand why the laparoscopic gastric sleeve has been recommended for you. If you have questions, ask. Your surgeon has recommended a laparoscopic procedure. A long instrument with a light and camera called a laparoscope is used. The scope makes it possible to see and operate on hard to reach delicate tissue. This is minimally invasive surgery that uses very small incisions instead of a classic large incision. Healing and return to normal activity is usually faster with less bleeding and fewer complications. With all laparoscopic procedures, the surgical team is prepared to change your surgery to an open procedure with a larger incision if this becomes necessary. An open procedure is sometimes needed to treat unexpected bleeding or other findings during a procedure that make it impossible to use a laparoscope. 
If this happens, your stay in the hospital and recovery will be longer than you originally expected. Now let's talk a little more about what happens during a laparoscopic gastric sleeve procedure. General anesthesia and medications are given to make you asleep and pain-free during your procedure. Your abdomen is then carefully filled with carbon dioxide gas, CO2. Four or five small cuts called incisions are then made to place tools for the procedure. The surgeon looks at your stomach and intestines for scar tissue or problems that may need to be fixed before making the sleeve. Fatty attachments to the outside wall of the stomach are carefully clipped. A special tool is then used to staple and cut the stomach. The staples work like stitches to seal the wall of the stomach and stop bleeding. The surgeon carefully makes the stomach into a banana-shaped tube by placing the staples one section at a time. Finally, a large part of the stomach is cut away and taken out through one of the small incisions. The surgeon carefully checks the stomach for bleeding and places extra stitches if needed. The instruments and gas are removed, incisions are closed, and dressings are placed. After surgery, speak up and tell your care team if you have more than expected pain or problems. You should expect to stay in the hospital at least overnight, usually for one to three nights, depending on your situation. You may have a Foley, a soft tube to drain your urine, this is usually taken out the morning after surgery. You may also have a drain, a soft tube through one of your incisions to monitor for bleeding. This is often removed before you are sent home. You will have some pain and soreness. When you are home from surgery, for best results, follow your doctor's instructions. The first week, rest as much as possible. Showering to stay clean is important. Walking is safe, but do not lift anything heavy. Use Tylenol or other pain medication only as recommended by your physician. And do not smoke. With all abdominal surgery, there is a risk of serious problems. These can include bleeding, injury to the intestines, liver, or spleen, more surgery is sometimes needed to correct some problems. Call your doctor if you have a fever, can't eat, have worsening pain, nausea and vomiting, or bleeding that does not stop. Hospital admission, medication, or surgery may be needed to fix some problems. After bariatric surgery, Severe depression is a risk, even if you are doing well with losing weight. Patients are at higher risk of dying from accidents or suicide after surgery. Be sure to make and keep follow-up appointments and call to be seen if you have feelings of regret, hopelessness, or worsening sadness. Directions for eating after surgery will depend on your procedure and surgeon. Chew food carefully into little bits, especially meat. Sip water and liquids through the day, less with meals. Avoid soda, shakes, sugary, fatty, and high fiber foods. Be careful to limit alcohol as you will be much more sensitive to it. Getting used to eating with your new stomach will be your greatest challenge. Be patient, follow your doctor's instructions, and be sure to call your care team if you have questions and problems. Do not wait for a simple problem to turn into an emergency because you were afraid to ask a question. You will be seen and have routine testing every three to six months in the beginning and then once a year for the rest of your life. If you are a woman and could become pregnant, you must not for at least one and a half years. Until then, use condoms and or another reliable type of birth control. 
Be patient as you heal. Discuss your concerns with your surgeon. If you do have long-term side effects from your procedure, you can see improvement with time, more healing, changes in eating, or sometimes more surgery. The support of your surgeon, counselor, dietitian, and care team can make a big difference in how much weight you lose and in keeping it off. To avoid cancellation or complications from anesthesia or your procedure, your job as the patient is to not eat or drink anything after midnight the night before surgery, not even a stick of gum, Take only medications you were told to on the morning of surgery with a sip of water. Stop your aspirin or blood thinners before surgery as you are instructed and arrive on time. You should be ready to verify or confirm your list of medical problems and surgeries, all of your medications, including vitamins and supplements, your current smoking, alcohol and drug use, and all allergies, especially to medications, latex, and tape. All surgery and anesthesia have a small but possible risk of serious injury, even some problems very rarely leading to death. It is your job to speak up and ask your surgeon if you still have questions about why this surgery is being recommended for you, the risks and alternatives. This video is intended as a tool to help you better understand the procedure that you are scheduled to have or are considering. It is not intended to replace any discussion, decision-making, or advice of your surgeon.